Are we joining? Yeah, looks like we're going live. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're well. Okay, good morning. Just getting us set up there. Good morning. Hope you're well. Um, Facebook. Those people on Facebook, I would like to hear if that was working any better for you because I'm trying on a new device. I know the last couple of days people have said that it's had, it's had a bit of a funny sound. So could you let me know, people on Facebook, if that's any better for us? I really hope it's not the phone because that's a lot easier, but never mind, long story. Anyway, good morning. Sound is better. Maybe it's just my old phone on its way out. Good morning. Lovely to see you. Hi, guys. Hope you're all okay. Hello, everybody. Now someone's saying that you can't hear me on Instagram. Can you hear me on Instagram? What's going on? Managed to fix, fix Facebook, but someone's saying that they can't hear me. Can someone, not, you, can you hear me? Sounds fine. Working on Facebook. Instagram. Can you hear me on Instagram? Somebody? Yes? Think so? Okay. For that person who's saying you can't hear me, it might be worth... Yeah, you can hear. Okay. Right. I don't know what's going on. Don't know what's going on. That person that just said you can't hear me it might be worth switching off and switching back on again. <laughs> so that's not my fault. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Really nice to see you. Um, hello. Good. Okay. We seem to be working. Let's not speak too soon. Let's just crack on, shall we? Just in case. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you. Just having a few technical issues. Honestly, I don't know why I work with technology because I really don't enjoy it and also don't know what I'm doing with it either. Anyway, good morning. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much for coming to play with me today. We're going to do a really nice, short, quick activity to get our brains thinking. And today we're going to be doing some measuring, which is one of my favorite things to do because we're going to do some measuring um measuring some funny worms and then after that you can pretty much measure everything around the house so i'm hoping this morning grown-ups that you have a cup of tea and i'm hoping that this one should get your little ones off playing and inspired to go and do something so lovely to see you all good morning i'm going to crack on my husband is sat with Mason for a minute and hasn't got long, so we need a quick one this morning. So, very warm welcome to everybody tuning in. So, this morning, <coughs> excuse me, you are going to need some paper. Oh, I've done white paper and I've got a white jumper on. So, do you know what? I'm going to swap that because that makes it hard to see, doesn't it? Makes it hard to differentiate. Oh, I've got a lovely bright orange paper. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's cheering me up because outside. Today in Nottingham, it's looking very grey and cloudy. So I'm so pleased I've chosen this really lovely, jazzy, bright orange uh, paper this morning. And it stands out better for my jumper. You're going to need a pen or pens. Whatever. And then I have asked you to bring some building blocks. Now it's completely up to you what you've got. I have got this Lego. I'm going to just use some Lego blocks with mine. I'm not sure why I keep picking out the white ones this morning. I'm going to use some... Lego build it, building blocks this morning. You can use any building blocks that you've got at home. In fact, you can do this activity with loads of different things. If you've got buttons, if you've got coins, if you've got lots of little toys, anything like that, because we can do measuring with all sorts. So what we're going to do this morning, using one of our pens, is I'm going, I'd like to show you, and then you can copy. So it's gonna be my go first, and then you'll go, okay? Now on my paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some long and some short and some funny different size wiggly worms, okay? So I'm going to draw some worms on my paper and then you're going to have a copy. So can I show you first? Can you wait for me? Okay, so I am going to have a go at drawing a nice, long worm at the top of my paper. We don't want it too wiggly because that might make it hard to draw. Can you see my big long wiggly worm? 
I've done a big, long, wiggly worm. It's not too wiggly. I might give him a little face, actually. There we go. You see my wiggly worm? I've given him a little smiley face. I've got a nice, long smiley face. And then I'm going to do a shorter wiggly worm. With another little smile. And then on your paper, I'd like you to do lots of different wiggly worms of different sizes. So some really long and some very short and tiny. Some medium size. And grown-ups, this is a lovely way of getting language, some new words and language into your little ones. And of course, we're drawing our worms today, but actually you could make your worms out of Play-Doh. You could make your worms out of anything at all. Now I'm going to show you. I'm just putting, doing some more and they can be all over your paper. So I am doing lots and lots of worms. Sorry, just reading what's being said. Okay, and then, so do lots of different size worms on your paper. So I've got some short worms. Oh, yeah, pipe cleaners are a nice one to do. String, paper straws, anything like that. So you can do lots of different wiggly worms. You can do some nice long ones. We can do some little short ones. And we can do some medium sized ones. So three fantastic words that we can all have a go at using. Actually, I'm gonna do a really tiny one. How are your worms looking? Are they looking good? There we go. So on my paper, I've got lots of different size worms. And then let me know when you've done your worms. Can you do me a thumbs up when you've done your worms and I can see? Fantastic. If you're little, someone's saying that their little one's gone off to make worms out of Play-Doh, that's fantastic. I try and do my videos with things that everybody has got because obviously not everybody would have Play-Doh or pipe cleaners and stuff. But if it is, it has inspired you try something else and please go for it I just try to make my activities as accessible for everybody so give me a thumbs up when you've done your wiggly worms I bet they're looking great and of course we don't just have to do worms do we we could do all sorts of things we could do any animals I just fancied wiggly worms this morning okay super sounds like you're all doing really well so before we start could you just have a look at your worms and could you use your pointing finger? Has everyone got a pointing finger? This is my pointing finger. Everyone get their pointing finger. And can you point at a short worm? Can you have a look for a short worm? Have you got a short worm on your paper? Can you point to which one you think is short? Maybe grown-ups, you can be there to support them with that. And we're going to have practice using the word short. It's a really good one when we're doing measuring and length. So I'm looking and I found I found this little short one on mine. He's only small, isn't he? This is my short worm. Where is your short worm? Excellent. Okay, get that pointing finger ready. We're going to do some more pointing. I wonder if you can find a medium size worm. A medium size. Can you find one that you think is medium size? Another really great word to use. So use your pointing finger and have a look and see if you've got a medium size one. I think this is a medium size. It's normally in the middle, not too short, not too long. In the middle. I'm going to go for this one, I think. Yeah, good. Have you got one on your paper? Have you got a medium one on your paper? Excellent. Very good. Okay, get your pointing finger. We're just going to do one more. I wonder if you might even be able to guess which one we're going to do now. Using your pointing finger, can you see if you can find a long worm? That's right. Can you find a long worm? A really great, great word to use when we're doing measuring is a long worm. 
Can you find a really long worm on your paper? I've got one here. Yeah, that's a really long worm. In fact, he's my longest worm. What a great word. He's my longest worm. And here's my shortest worm. Okay, well done everybody, excellent. Love that you've been having a go at finding and identifying your shortest, your medium and your longest worm. Okay, so this is where we're gonna use our building blocks now to help us measure our worms. So the way that we're going to do this is we're gonna use our bricks and we're gonna line them up on top of our worms and we're gonna count them and see if we can work out how many bricks there are for the length of each worm. If you want to and you've got a pen, you could write down the number next to your next to your worm, couldn't you? That might be quite nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a go. Now, annoyingly, I can't pick this up to show you because it'll all slide off, won't it? You don't need to stick them together either. If you've got like Lego or something, you don't actually have to build them or stick them together, anything like that. All we're doing, see if I can lift this up to try and show you, is all I'm doing is I'm going to start at one end and I am going to place my bricks... And we're going to have a go at measuring our worm to see how long they are. Like I said, you can do this with loads of different things. If you do have pipe cleaners or string, if you've got any bread, bread sticks for snack time today, it's fun to do it with that as well. You could do it with shoelaces, you could do it with pipe cleaners, straws, you could do it with all sorts of things. And I'm just placing my bricks along my worm. And, to, and then I'm going to stop when I get to the head. There we go. I'm going to stop at the head. I think that's about it. And that's about uncovered. And once they're all covered, what you're going to do is use that pointing finger. Remember that pointing finger we were using before? We're going to use our pointing finger and we're going to carefully count how many bricks we've got. And it's important when we count our bricks that we take our time and we count them one at a time. So nice and slowly going to count them one at a time. You ready? So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight on my worm. You might have a different number. And if you want to, you could use your pen and you could write down that number next to your worm if you want to remember how many bricks you used. It's up to you. You don't have to do that bit, but it's quite nice because then afterwards you can compare them, which is always a good one. Okay, so he was eight, so I might start again because I haven't brought many bricks with me today. I'm going to do another one. You guys do yours. Can't wait to hear how you're getting on. Uh, let's do my meat. I'm going to do my medium worm now. I'm just lining up my bricks and I'm measuring today. Somebody says to you, what did you do today? You can say, I did measuring. We are measuring our worms. And we're using lots of amazing words today, aren't we? Measuring. We are measuring our worms. Oh, he wasn't too many today. So one, two, three, four, five on my worm. So I'm going to write that down. Excellent. Sounds like you're doing really well. I'm going to do one more. I'm just enjoying myself now, but I should go because I bet my husband needs to, <laughs> needs to get up to work. I might do this one over here. Like I said, you could use coins, you could use buttons, pom poms, beads, any little things that you've got. Those little golden trucks I was using with Macy the other day would be nice for this. So anything you've got little things of would be lovely. This one's only three. That one didn't take long, did it? There we go. So you could do this in lots of different ways. So I'm going to finish there now, guys, because I have finished doing my worms. You, I'm sure you can guys can carry on. I'm, I've still got all my others to do. I've only done some of them. I need to do the numbers for the other ones. So I'm going to carry on playing, and I want you to carry on playing too. And like I said, I wonder what else you could measure. I wonder if there's anything else in your house that you could measure and see how long or short it is. Hmm, maybe you could take your building blocks or something else. And I wonder if there's something in your house that you could measure. Hmm, I would love to see what you get up to. Please do send me any photos of worms, of measuring, 
of short, of long, of medium, anything like that. And don't forget to keep practicing using those amazing mathematical words because they're all really great. Okay, have a lovely day playing. Just a little reminder again, tomorrow I am not here for the live in the morning. So please, um, if you are looking for something to do, as I'm quite aware that we've become, I have become part of a lot of people's routine, there are loads and loads and loads of previous play-alongs and live videos I've done in the past on YouTube and on Facebook. So please do dig those out. There must be something there that you can do with the kids this morning or repeat one of that you've already done and really enjoyed. It's always been really nice, wouldn't it? Thank you very much for tuning in today. Thank you for coming to play with me. I will see you on Thursday for another easy uh, play activity that we can do at home. Go and measure and let me know what you get up to. All right, have a nice day. Happy playing, everybody. Bye, guys.